We saw snow, additional snow piling in across the Sierra. All the snow that you see falling here was a part of our latest low pressure system. 2017 has gotten off to an epic and snowy start in the Sierra and the Cascades, and we want to talk a few numbers with you. So several locations have already racked up 200 inches of snowfall, more than 300 inches of snow for the season. So we're talking 25 to 27 feet of snow and counting, which is very impressive. Adding to the snowpack in the Sierra Nevada, some spots like what you see here, 11 and a half feet of snowpack. It's kind of mind boggling, isn't it? After another two to three feet of snowfall overnight, the snowpack is well over 10 feet. Houses are buried up here, cars are buried. The road is closed. How much water is stored in Earth's snow covered regions? Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents Stay Cool. Zew. You're right, sir. Slow your rotation, stellar fool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents, ladies and gentlemen, I, Thor of Thor News, am extremely worried that California may see extremely bad, catastrophic record floods around March 3rd. Now, I hope I'm wrong, but if I'm right, I want everyone who may be affected to understand the situation and prepare for it. Because it is February 26th, 2017 right now. And by my projections, the worst we could see major, major flooding is March 3rd, 2017, five days from today. Now, there is a large high pressure system that is about to be chilling off the Pacific coast. So California may not get more rains and storms for a week or two, possibly even three. But the thing I'm worried about is the heat. Three days ago, 77 different towns all up and down the northeast coast had all time record highs. And some of these highs were beaten not by one degree. Not by 2 degrees, but 11 degrees, or 9 degrees, or 8 degrees, or 7 degrees. And so, in the Pacific Northwest, I have seen some amazing, incredible record snowfall. We're talking standing snow of 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet. We're talking ski resorts where you can't ski because there's too much snow. So much so, can't even shovel it. So what I've attempted to do is the math. In some places, they've had over 600 inches of snow, and that snow has not melted. And in the research I've done, the basic average to create one inch of rainwater out of snow is 10 inches of snow. Now there is a gradient and a variable scale in there because the colder it is when the snow falls, the more moisture and water it has locked inside. Now the warmer it is when it snows, the less moisture and water it has locked inside. So I would average it 10 on the low scale and 15 to 22 on the high scale, right? So to me, if we take the math of how much snow there is in the California mountains, the Nevada mountains, the Oregon mountains, and even some of the Washington mountains, because water rolls downhill. And so some of the water from the melt in Washington and Oregon is going to end up in California. And please, someone correct me if I am wrong, but we are looking at the air temperature. All right, so today, February 26th. As you can see, all the snow up through here, although this is air temperature, this is basically the same snow spot. I'll show you. This is current snow cover. See that? This is current snow cover, the 26th. And so when all this melts, a lot of it's going to end up in Nevada, California. See that? Okay. Remember that area. Now we go back over here. All right. That's where we're at. This is the 26th. See, it's cold. We have cold temperatures that will keep that which is frozen, frozen. Still got cold temperatures up in the mountains. It's the 26th into the 27th, the 28th. Now we get into March, and this is where it gets hot. This is on the 2nd. We got temperatures over here, 55, 33, 42, 57, 60, 54, 53, 56, 62, 39, 41, 33. That's going to make the majority of it melt. Over here, still on the 2nd of March, 52, 33, 40, 33, 34, 40, 45, 54, 54, 52, 54, 51, 59, we're still melting. And that is a lot of snow that is going to melt. That is the third, 56, 36, 46, 61, 46, 43, 64, 60, 60. And the heat is starting to creep in. Yeah, baby. And on the fifth, 40, 40, 50, 43, 34, 38, 41, 42, 46, 42, 55, 65, 64, 66, 70. So it would appear to me somewhere between March 2nd and March 7th, all the snow in these areas, that it's going to melt. And I'm going to go try and crunch the numbers. Like I said, snowpack is crazy. So when the mayor 
of San Jose was saying that he was totally surprised that San Jose flood. I was like, WTF, bro? How could you possibly not know? I've been covering it since October. And so I fear in a situation just like this, they will say, oh my God, how do we not know? And it's the same shit. Because either they aren't supposed to know, or they really just aren't that smart. That's scary. So maybe I'm totally wrong, and people can show me and explain how it's going to be no big deal. But I've seen some scary figures, I will go find them. Because you can go through my 1,200 videos, and you'll see. Even though I am part of the truth community, I'm not a doomer. It's a lot of snow. Because that's what we're talking about melting. It's all going to melt, like, from there. So by the 6, it would appear that all that's going to be melted. And that looks like a lot of water for an overtaxed state water regulation system that is running on top of a post five year drought burnt cookie soil and ground and i'm gonna go crunch numbers i'll be back god bless everyone either let's take this very seriously or someone explain to me how there's something that i missed all right peace out god bless everyone